Hello everyone, welcome back to the nursery. Guys, uh, for those of you who don't know, as new here, uh, welcome and my name's Vicki. And uh, guys, I'm going to show you the blanket I've been crocheting. Katie, of course, like I told you, she's laid claims to it. Uh, so she's helping me show the blanket. This is my Katie. Aren't you? Yeah. Guys, this is the blanket I've been working on. Now, it's not finished, but I'll just show you some of what I've been working on. It's not perfect. This is my first time crocheting, but this is the blanket that I picked to make. So my stitches were a little bit loose in places. You can see right here, see that? It's not really that noticeable unless I just I show people, but... Um, yeah, I've got a few loose stitches, but it's okay, guys. It's turning out really pretty. It's a beautiful blanket, as you can see. This is a fan stitch. Uh, what they call a fan stitch, I guess. A fan uh, or shell. Maybe a shell. Shell stitch. And then the puff stitch. It's got, like, two puffies. Two, it's got that in it, too. Guys, this was my first time doing a, a blanket, of course. As I told you, I've just been uh, crocheting for, like, a month. And, um, I didn't know that when I started this. I'd have seen it on there, and I thought, oh, my God, that's a beautiful blanket. I'm going to try. But little did I know, I'm doing pretty good on it, but little did I know, God, guys, it's a yarn eater. Uh, it's what they call a yarn eater. My gosh. You don't know how many. I'm going to have probably close to 35 or maybe even $40 in this blanket by the time I get it finished. Uh... I have not finished it yet, but I can show you how it looks. See, here's the little puffy stitches, and this is the, I call it a fan, but I think a lot of people call it a shell. Looks like a fan to me. And then the little puffy stitches, you can see. It's a three-row repeat, guys. Um, it's got three rows on it. You know, you start your first row, and then the rest of them are like... You start from there, and it's like a, you know, here's the, your first row. Well, then you go from here, and you go up to here and here. It's from the second, third, and fourth is where you repeat. You do the second, the third, and the fourth, and then when you get to here, you repeat the second again back up here. So it's like a three-row repeat. Uh, the yarn I'm using is Premier. I've been getting it from Michael's. It's in a coral color, and it is the Premier... Oh, gosh. I can't. Hang on. Let me get the paper. I'll tell you. Just hold on a second. I'm just. I'll get it from right here. I'll show you what it is. Okay. This is what I'm using on it. And it's in a coral color. It's from the Premier Yarns. Deborah Norville. Every day. Anti-peeling. Anti. Whatever that says. But it's anti-peeling. It is a. Hmm. Let's see. 203 yards in each thing. Uh, in any way, it's like a number four. Really, guys, to me, that's closer. Instead of a four, maybe a three. It says it said it was a four. I'm pretty sure I can't see where it's at now. It uses, it's a number four yarn, but to me, honestly, to look at it, it's like a number three. But it's working well. And uh, I used a, I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook. So, this is what I've got done so far. I've got quite a bit done. Let me show you. From this corner to this corner. And then this is the length. It's, it's going to be a big blanket, though, guys. It's a real big blanket. Probably more like a crib blanket. But I'm going to have maybe $40 in it by the time I get through. Because, man, it eats up that yarn. Because it's got the puff stitch and the... I guess that's what you call it. It's a puff stitch. Some people call it a fluff fluffy stitch somebody says puff stitch i don't know and then it's also got that uh shell and i call it a fan it looks like a fan to me but a lot of people call it shell so it's got both of those stitches in it the puff stitch and the shell and it's not really that hard guys to do i mean it's just i've just started crocheting and done it and uh and doing it and uh so it's not that bad it's just, gosh, it's eating up the yarn. I didn't know it was going to take this much yarn. I maybe shouldn't have made it as big as I did. But I was going by what the lady said on the internet. And I can't remember her, the one I'm getting this from. I can't remember her uh, channel name. I was trying to, 
I'll have to look, guys. I can't remember. I'll, I'll look and let you guys know because I want to give her credit for it. I got the, I got this pattern from her off of her channel. And it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful blanket. It's just, I was going by what she done, and she done, it's huge. It's going to be more of a, like a crib blanket than it is like a baby blanket. It's long. I'll probably have about 40 bucks in it by the time I get through, but I don't care. Um, you know, I'm learning as I go, but I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. So I'll hang it on the bottom of my crib when I get it done. But I just wanted you guys to see what I'm doing. Isn't it pretty? I think it turned out turning out great. And Katie, of course, says it's mine. It's mine. It's all mine. It's mine. It's mine. She says, This is my blanket. The others are not getting it. <laughs> she said like claims on it. <laughs> that little mess of a man. Uh, Katie. But anyway, guys, that's what I'm up to today. Just wanted to stop in, say hello. Hope everybody's uh, doing good. Um, taking their time up, you know, maybe in crochet or make babies. I make babies too, guys. You just know that. But, um, yeah, I make babies too. But I'm doing some crocheting also. And, uh, you know, keep yourselves busy. And... All that, you know. But that's what I've been doing. And I've been cleaning house now for two days. Uh, scrubbing everything down. I can get my hands on Clorox and everything. Bleaching it. Putting, you know, taking bleach and going through and just cleaning everything with it. For two days. And then the next two days is going to be beautiful where I live at. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be in the 70s. And Friday's supposed to be right at 80 degrees and sunny. No rain. We've had so much rain. It's unreal how much rain we've had. So, I'm going to be outside for the next two days after this and um, today. Excuse me. And I'm going to be working uh, in my yard out there. Getting stuff done up that needs done up out there. Cleaned up and all that from the winter. But anyway, everybody stay safe. Just want to stop in and say hi. See what everybody's up to. And everybody just try to stay indoors, guys, as much as you can. And just, I don't know, just... Do crafts and stuff. That's what I've been doing and staying busy. Uh, you know, being uh, inside this way doesn't bother me. I know it's bothering a lot of people because they're not used to it. But I'm used to it. I'm a homebody anyway, guys. I mean, before all this, I stay at home all the time anyway. I never go out unless I have to. I'm just a homebody since I've gotten older. I like being at home and, the, and there's where I want to be. So this doesn't bother me about being, you know, isolated from events and other people and all that stuff because i'm just i'm a homebody anyway so but everybody try to stand as much as you can and if you get bored you know pick up do some crafts or something of some kind on youtube here there's all kinds of different things that uh you know little diy do it yourself little projects and little crafts get on some of the craft channels and and do some stuff with them and keep yourself busy doing that that's what i'm doing but yeah, right out the storm, guys. We, we just have to hang with it and ride the storm out. So, uh, I guess that's it, guys. I just wanted to say hi and let you see my blanket. So, Katie and I says, Katie says, bye-bye, everybody. She says, but it's mine. Nobody's getting it. But I'll see you soon, she says. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon in the video. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.